Hi there, this is Mr. Cardoso and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install um, Java and get Java working on your home computer so you can make Java programs at home. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to open up a web browser and go into uh, pearsonci.net or Moodle and if you go to our course web page here you can see there are three um, Java links so we're going to get uh, Java up and running um, so the JDK, which is actually the Java compiler, and then an IDE, Dr. Java, and we'll get those two up and running on the computer. Um, so if you go ahead and click on the link, the download Dr. Uh, Java Development Kit JDK 7, if you click on that, it'll open up a new web browser, and it's going to say here what uh, web browser do we want to download. So first of all, go ahead and click Accept the License Agreement, and if you scroll down to the very bottom, you're going to have to decide uh, which system you're on. Most likely, you, you are not running um, any of these, Linux or Solaris. You're running Windows um, 86 or 64-bit processor. So, how do you know which one you are? Well, general rule of thumb is if you have a, a newer computer, you're probably x64. But let's check out, just to make sure. If you go to, if you have Windows 7, you go to start and you go to computer and then you click on system properties and it's going to tell you here that I'm running a 32-bit operating system right here so that means I'm going to get the 32 or the x86 if you're running a 32-bit operating system you want the x86 if you have a 64-bit processor you want to download the x64 so I'm going to download that one, and it's going to download it. So I'm using the uh, Google Chrome web browser here, so um, it's showing the download down here. While you're downloading, um, just pay attention to where you've saved that download, um, so that you can go ahead and, and, and open it afterwards. If you're using Internet Explorer, um, once you've downloaded it, they'll give you the option to uh, open the download. So now that if you're using Google Chrome, you go ahead and click down here, and I'm going to run it, and then I'm going to click next. Um, you can you can put demos and examples if you like, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Next. So now the install is taking place. Okay, and then you click finish. And the Java development kit, i.e. the compiler, the thing we need to run Java or create Java programs, has been installed and that includes the, the JRE as well. So this pop-up comes up here and I don't want to register right now, so I'm just going to close that off. Okay, now I'm going to close this, I'm done with this, which brings me back to the Moodle and I'm going to go to the next download link which is the Dr. Java. So go ahead and get the uh, download the Windows app again. And it's telling you here that you need to wait a few seconds. There we go. So I'm going to save that. Once that download is complete, then you can click on it again to run the Dr. Java. And it takes a few seconds. Um, go ahead and allow it to work. And click Allow X Access if that happens. Close this off. And click Yes to this very first question. Yes, I want to associate it. And there you have it. As long as you've installed your JDK before or your Java Development Kit before you've installed the Dr. Java, you can see that the compiler will automatically link. If you do them the other order, then you may have to link this up. Okay, So you can see the compiler is already being recognized. Um, and as well, uh, take note of where you saved the drjava.exe. Uh, it's one single file. So you can take that file and make a shortcut on your desktop. So if you saved it in your downloads folder, go ahead and make a shortcut and put it on your desktop so you can find it again. But when you've downloaded it from that website, make sure you pay attention to where you saved it so you can find it again. Okay, 
Uh, in the next video, we'll go through the very first Java program in Dr. Java.